kid you not, now, if you uh, were to do this, see I travel. This is this is the stuff from Z Natural. If I snort this, it still gets me wired, okay? But it's not quite as potent as the shit that I'm getting from Trader Joe's. And this used to be the same level of quality and everything. And what I do is, you know, get a sizable, a little something like that. <coughs> yeah, a little burn, not a lot, okay? Um, it's true. Cocaine sets the bar. Methamphetamine raises it unhealthily. Rotten teeth, fucked up marriages, you know, uh, divorce. Okay? I have cool teeth, though. It's all good. Um, because I took a handful of oyster shell calcium every day that I did methamphetamine. Because I saw, before I got into shit, man, I saw some of the people that had been in it for a while. I'm like, God damn, man, yo. Know? That didn't look like any fun, so I'm gonna take that shit, right? Um, and so methamphetamine raised the bar, and then stevia is like in the middle with more like meth drive, just not quite as long, but it doesn't have the spike in the drop like cocaine does, right? And uh, isn't that something? I mean, you're looking, I'm a Nobel Prize winner, it just hasn't happened yet. Now, if it ever happens, doesn't mean that I don't deserve it. They're giving fucking Nobel Prizes for shit that don't mean shit. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, that's like a member of the old boys network. Like the coach, I mean, you know what? Oh, so, are you a brother? Or, or what, 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 what is your ancestry, home? Huh? Really, I mean, do you consider yourself? Oh, for sure, man. For okay, sure, sure. well, you know what? I have I have friends that, like, well, Creole, you know, see anything. Well, I am Creole, but I consider myself black. Like, okay, yeah. well, you know what? <laughs> Zeus was asking me, why get along with brothers so well? I mean, one, because because a lot of them grew up like I did, poor, right? And don't have time for like bullshit, lies, games, you know? Um, people don't realize that there's so many similarities between the cool people of different races, bikers, blacks, Mexicans, okay? Um, and then what happens is Sometimes they go to the pen, right? Because all these cool guys, they don't have any avenue to fucking use that coolness to, you know, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever met any drug dealers? Oh, yeah. Okay. Have you ever met an asshole that was a drug dealer? No, because they have to be friendly in order to sell the product. Straight up, because they're all fucking cool, dog. And it's not like they have to be friendly just because they are, right? I mean, that's how it is. It's like, you know... Do you want to, like, you're a little kid, what do you want to be? I want to be a drug dealer, you know, but you fucking grow up. And you see how the shit that's happening and all the bad, it, it took me a long time. I'll tell you what, America, talking shit on me, you guys don't know. Dan Quinn could have stepped into the drug game at, at the, uh, literally at about the highest level. The first drug deal that I ever did, okay, um, was four pounds of killer green bud from Mexico, from what I hear, okay? It was brick pack. And then we broke that shit up, and my mom was on a trip to, she was on a ski trip to Mammoth, right? <laughs> and we broke that shit up and used a hydrator, okay? And it made the entire fucking house smell like weed. So we went down to someplace and bought Blade air fresheners or Manly trying to fucking get that shit off. 